In some situations, you may want to send or receive whatever's happening on your screen to students who physically can't be in your building. Sometimes these students are homebound, or maybe they're just sick. Hi, my name's Mr. Sharp. I have over 12 years experience in the classroom, and I'm one of ViewSonic's professional development trainers. Today, we're going to take a look at My Viewboard for Windows, which has incredible casting features for whatever device you're using. It doesn't matter. We're going to start by using the My Viewboard companion app to sign in to the My Viewboard for Windows program. Once I'm signed in, I'm going to go to File Management, and I'm going to open a literacy lesson for today from the cloud from Google Drive. Once I have my lesson loaded up, I need to be able to sync to my student's device. In order to do that, I need to go to Casting, which is here in my menu. From there, I need to make sure that Casting is turned on. On the student's device, what they're going to do is they're going to go to MyViewBoard.com. They're going to sign in at MyViewBoard.com, and at the very top, there's an icon that says, Receive a screen or Receive a Viewboard. Once they type that in, they're going to need to type in the view board name. Up here on the top left, you can see that my board name is VS Trainer. They type in VS Trainer and their name, and then I'm going to get a notification that lets me know they are ready to receive my screen. Again, this is a device that is not on the same network as this panel. It's remote. I can see the student's name appear, that they're requesting my screen, and then when I activate it, you'll get a mirror of what's on the panel on the student device. So as I activate different pages here and transition, it's live. Whether I annotate, play videos, anything like that, it's going to be instant. Now, when I want a student to interact back with me, I can actually receive their screen to the panel. So in the same way, in this example, if we're doing Library in Basra, I might want a student to share examples of uh, libraries with me, maybe through a Google image search. I'm going to go back to casting, and then I'm going to wait here to see the present in window. When a student presents in, they're going to go to myviewboard.com again. They're going to click on the icon that is share a screen. That's going to ask them to enter their name and then enter the board name, which again is VS Trainer. When they type that information on their device, they will be able to click Share, and it will share their screen out. From here, I can see any students that have requested to share their screen. When I touch their name, it'll open a new window and then sync up and display whatever is on that student device. Here I can see that Barry has shared images of little libraries, and we could have a discussion about this. Notice that I have controls here on the bottom which include the ability to full screen, or take a screenshot of whatever is on the student's page. If I touch the menu list here, I can see a list of all the students who have requested to share their screen. I can have up to six screens shared at once using My Viewboard. Hopefully this shows you the power of using My Viewboard for Windows and the ability to send and receive screens with students even if you're not physically in the same building.